Part of me wants to be here for a second, but then just dip out. How about when we do the taste test? Okay. All That's right. Fine. Okay. All right. <laughs> this is a cocoa seed, or cocoa pod. Cocoa pod. The seeds are inside seeds of it. Seeds are inside of it. Yep. And why do you know that? Um, I went on a study abroad trip into Trinidad where we studied chocolate and cocoa. I'm here with Lucius. He's from Minnesota, and I just met him this morning. He came here to tour Sleepy Lizard Avocado yeah. Farm. Usually I'm the one that does the teaching, but when he saw I had this on my counter, he said, man, I know all about that stuff. I said, well, I want you to show me how to eat it then because I've never eaten one of these things. So obviously you know how to do it. Yep. So let's hear how it's done, Lucius. What do we do? All right. So down in Trinidad where I learned about these, they hold it in their left hand and they take a machete and then they throw it in a circle and they uh -huh. hit it with the machete and they pop it open. Grace, would you grab my machete that's right behind you there on the ground? She'll be over there. Is this knife big enough or you need a proper machete? That'll work. I don't know how to flip it the way that they do. Okay. But, yeah. Does your insurance cover out of state? <laughs> I'm asking mom and dad here. Is he covered? Let's see, yeah, give it a so, try. So what they do is uh -huh. they hold it like this yeah. and then they just chop into it a little bit. Okay, they go around it like that. Yep. And then, once you get around, uh -huh. I don't think I went deep enough. Here, that's what she said. <laughs> then they'll get it in and then uh -huh. they just pop it open. Yeah. And then inside, oh, those are your cocoa beans. Look at that. Wow. So these we can eat? Yep, yep. And then that's the fruit around it, so there's uh -huh. pulp here. And then the cocoa bean is inside of there. Yeah. And when they're making the chocolate, what they do is they lay all the cocoa beans on the ground on a big plywood sheet. Okay. So if you've ever heard that chocolate is like a certain percentage bugs. Yes. That's true. Because they're on the sheet and the bugs get the in sheet, there. And then the fruit flies actually yeah. deposit the yeast on it uh -huh. that's used to ferment this fruit to create the alcohol and which then acetobacter turns into vinegar and acid, acetic acid. Yeah. That breaks it down and digests the bean uh -huh. and creates all of the flavors and, and the aromas and all the wonderful parts of chocolate. Really? And that is how this fruit actually turns the beans into what we would turn into chocolate. You're kidding. I'm not. That's how they do it. Wow. They a lifetime of going to Hershey Park as a kid in Pennsylvania and I never <laughs> learned that about chocolate. Yep. So this is edible. This, yes, this, this is edible. This white pulp is edible. So you, yep. Just now, when you were down in Trinidad, did anything else happen in addition to learning about chocolate? Did you meet anyone down there? Oh, yes. Yeah, I met my girlfriend down there. Does she um, want to sample the cacao Yeah, I the think. Come on out here, Grace. <laughs> here, will you do your thing? You show yeah. us how it's done. You teach us how to eat. Okay, so... Um, oh, wait a minute. And this is your name? Grace. Hi, Grace. Welcome to Sleepy Lizard Avocado Thank Farm. Thank you. There's, there's um, not a ton of fruit on here, it's just the pulp, and it's mostly just like this big seed. So you okay. kind of have to suck it off almost. And okay. Like, that's how you get it off, and then the rest it's going to be just a seed that you spit out. On okay. The so can I try that with you at the same yeah. time? All yeah. Right. So what do I do? I take this yeah. and do what? And put it in your mouth. Uh huh. And suck the fruit off. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. <laughs> that's. What a unique flavor. Mm -hmm. Man, I never would have guessed this was chocolate. Doesn't like that chocolate like it. doesn't taste anything like it. And then you take the seed, and what we store it for later? Yeah, you can if you want. You can now, plant it. Come on, in, Lucius. Is yeah, this yeah. something I could, like, could I make my own chocolate using that process you just said, or is it too much knowledge that um, I need, like too much specialized? No, you could do it. I mean. Um, you probably want a lot more than just these beans here. Oh, okay. Yep. This wouldn't be enough to make You'd probably any want significant more for quantity. To, yeah, mainly for the fermenting right. process. Yeah. But you could make a decent amount of chocolate with this this amount of beans. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. You want to try one? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Thank you. And you guys, you, you go to college, mm -hmm. and you just said there's this study abroad opportunity yep. in the Caribbean yep. to learn about chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then maybe meet a boyfriend or a girlfriend, so you went for it. Yeah. Isn't that, <laughs> don't, don't we live in great times? Oh, or whoever oh. wants to be it. Go All right. I'll let you Lucius, thank you for that instruction. And Grace, thank you for the taste test. Now I'm going to take you guys on your tour. All right. I don't sell cacao online, but I do sell avocados. So if you want to get yourself a box of avocados or one of these beautiful t-shirts, go to guacfarm.com. G-U-A-C-F-A-R-M.com. Now me, 
I got to take these people on a tour of the farm. While I do that, you go to guacfarm.com, and I will see you on the next video.